Hi, this is Charlene Chamberlain, and I'm the host of Front Row, a live stream internet show focused on the music industry. Today's show explores the incredible healing power of music, which I learned about firsthand when my friend Linda, who is a first grade teacher at Haddonfield Friends School, was struck down with Guillain Barre syndrome. It's a terrifying condition, and it left her completely paralyzed within 48 hours from the onset. This is Linda and her boyfriend Joe before she became ill. Linda returned home from teaching and told her boyfriend Joe that she felt weak and had trouble breathing. She then collapsed. By the time she got to the emergency room, she had lost all movement in her body. She could not speak and could only blink her eyes. She was put on life support. A machine was now breathing for her. Joe called me and asked me to pray for Linda because we didn't really know what her condition was at the time. Although Linda was paralyzed, she was aware of everything that was happening. She could only communicate by blinking her eyes. How terrifying to be held a prisoner in your own body. Several days after Linda was admitted to the hospital, while I was taking my daily walk and thinking about her and praying for her, I kept hearing this voice and melody line in my head. It was saying, tell the wind I'm calling, tell the wind I'm fine, calling all the angels from the earth and sky. It was so beautiful, I just couldn't shake it. That evening, my musician friend Shane came over for a visit, and I told her my story. We sat at the piano together and started adding music to the words. Everything just flowed effortlessly, and it was as if Linda was there with us, helping us write the song. stuck on one small part so we decided to call it an evening. Shane went home and I went to bed, but the music and the words were echoing in my head while I was trying to get to sleep. Shane told me that that evening Linda appeared to her in a dream, telling her to go to the piano. I'm going to help you finish the song. Shane and I went to the hospital and sang Tell the Wind I'm Calling to Linda, and Linda started to improve. Soon she could speak. I asked Linda if she remembered anything around the time she was admitted to the hospital, and she said that she had been trying to decide whether to stay or go if she did not want to return to her body the way it was now. During my many visits with Linda while she was in rehab, she told me that every time she listened to Tell the Wind I'm Calling, she would feel needles and pins on the left side of her body, the side that was still not responding. I'm ecstatic to say that Linda is expected to make a complete recovery, and we all hope that Tell the Wind I'm Calling will serve as an inspiration for anyone and everyone as it was written from the depths of our hearts with a lot of help from the divine. Wow. That's it. I think that's it. And that's going to help her. And that's going to help a lot of people, Shane. I know.